In this video we'll be using this sock slit extraction apparatus to extract the essential oils from this rosemary plant here. We'll be using ethanol as the solvent and hopefully we'll be able to extract some rosemary essence. So here's the plant marker and the first thing we need to do is to take some cuttings of the rosemary plant and chop them up into small pieces so that they'll go in the small thimble here. Now uh, we might choose to macerate and crush up the material in the pestle and mortar but I think we'll just rely on using the scissors today and already uh, there's a very strong smell of rosemary <clears throat> as we cut up the, the plant here into fine little pieces that will fit into the thimble. Now I should have weighed the sample but I've uh, not done so here so we just have to go by trial and error. Uh, we'll take another little piece from around here I think. Very sticky on the outside, so it's already exuding oil. And it might be beneficial to wear gloves, I suppose, doing this with my fingers are now somewhat sticking together. So now we have uh, a sample of fresh rosemary. We need to put that into the thimble here, and we can do that quite easily. using the tweezers. Spilt a few little pieces there, when I get those. And the last little bit, I think we'll have to use our fingers. And uh, almost got it. Alright, not to waste any. So there's our thimble loaded with our sample. We'll just compress it and get it, don't want it coming out. Um, wouldn't be a total disaster, but uh, we probably overfilled it a little there, but we'll go with that. So now we need to place the thimble in the socks of the apparatus. And uh, it's actually a tricky operation here. So just remove the Allen condenser from the top. We'll have a look at that in a while. Need to do that carefully as it can become quite uh, precarious and we'll just take the symbol and we drop it into the stage there so now we've got our sample in the tube uh, we're using ethanol uh, the volume uh, here required to pass over is about 60 uh, 65 to 70 mils we've already got 65 to 70 mils in the flask and we'll, we'll be adding another 65 mils or 70 mils again so we've got double the volume required to uh, by the apparatus right. just uh, support the condenser remove the extraneous material rosemary over to the side And uh, we need to add about another 65 mils of ethanol. So 
So there's about another 70 mils in fat. And we can introduce that into the top uh, of the apparatus through the condenser at the top here. And as it falls down, you might get some idea about what's going to happen in operation. So the liquid falling down, you can imagine, would be condensed by the condenser. It's falling onto the or into the section that contains the rosemary and then when it gets to the requisite height you can see it siphons over so now we're ready to go we've already put some anti-bumping granules we just make sure it's nice and vertical uh, we'll turn the heating mantle on and we also need to turn the fume cover on it's quite loud, um, but there's nothing we can do about that. So let's have a closer look at the setup. You can see we've got this salt slit extractor here already the ethanol has begun to, uh, just as it's passed through one time, it's got some green coloration from the rosemary. Um, you can see that the liquid fills up to here and then siphons over and as it boils you can see we've got this Allen condenser here which condenses the liquid, just remove the funnel from the top there um, and we've got water, cold water passing through the condenser. So let's give that some time to get going and then we'll have another look later. Let's uh, just turn the fan off for a moment so we can have a look at this in operation. We'll lift the fume hood. So you should be able to see the solvent in this case ethanol boiling away in the bottom of the round bottom flask and we can see the sock slit extractor uh, the vapor rising up here and then up into the allen condenser where it condenses down and drips down here so you should be able to see a, a drop forming fairly rapidly and then once the level of the liquid rises as far as the top of the inner tube in here we should see the solvent siphon over back into the flask. So almost there and of course the beauty of this technique is it can run for as long as required recycling the solvent around and around uh, extracting organic materials from the sample placed in the central thimble in this case we've got uh, some leaves of a rosemary plant and we're hoping to extract some kind of essence from those leaves.
So I'm almost there. And the solvent just about to siphon over. Another few drops. And all of the gas has been forced out, forced out of the, all the vapor forced out of the side tube there. And the solvent will follow it through just about now. And there we have it. There's the Soxlet extraction apparatus in good working order. Of course the solvent that's siphoned over there is rather cool and the first thing you notice is that we stop boiling, it's got to heat up again. You can also have a look down into the thimble and you should be able to see a significant amount of colour has already been taken out of the rosemary leaves. Let's hope that the odiferous compounds have also been removed. We can also take this opportunity to have a quick look at the Allen condenser there, which has got uh, cold water running through it. And there's the complete setup. We'll pull the fume hood back down and uh, turn the fan back on and leave that to run for a few cycles. That's the Soxlet extraction technique.